Hey, everybody! It's your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as toast. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards, aka Matt was funny. This is HQ Trivia, it's a mobile game show where anybody can be a contestant. Y'all ready to play? I know I am. I got a suit on. Yeah! And a tie. This is, I tied this myself. This is the first time in a long time my tie has been perfectly triangular. Paya! So strong. I'm breaking through the bricks every day. Y'all know how this works, okay? I'm gonna ask you 15 questions. You answer all of them right. You gonna win some money. Yeah. This is a linked game, so every correct answer is gonna link to the next question through a little bit of wordplay. All right, tonight, I'm gonna get right to it. We're gonna introduce you all to a very special guest. He is an amazing magician with a show called Magic for Humans on Netflix. So give it up right about now for my man, Justin Wilman! Hey. Oh! Hey. Woo! Hey! Hey! How's it going, dude? Good, baby! Dude, thank you for having I'm me. I'm so happy to have you. I love HQ. Netflix. This yes, is you so are! Fun. You are here! Oh, Magically! Oh you wanna switch? Let's switch. Oh, now I'm over here. That hey, was, Magic! That was good, that was good. You wanna, you, you need magic? Yes, please, oh, show me something. I didn't really bring anything except for this, this, this handkerchief. It's, ah! it's a cane! <laughs> it's a cane! Sorcery! I mean, come on! Oh, hey, Ellen, can we play like the Hogwarts music? No? Oh, we, okay, that was dope. 200 bucks, that's all it does. Boom, it's a cane. All right. That was worth it. Don't break it. Show me something else. Uh, do you have a deck of cards? Here's one. Whoa! <laughs> Matt, a lot of, listen, the fans may not know, but you got some skills. Show, show them what you can do. You know, I dabble a little bit. I like, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Woo! Woo! Nothing too crazy. And then we do a little reverse. Oh, what? that was bad. A little sloppy. I'm gonna leave it that, to the professional. Like, it's gonna get all like the prestige up in here, like a duel. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm up to two packs a day. Come on, magic and jokes and stuff. Okay, you need some tongues. Matt, think of a think of a card. Uh, we don't know need those. Just think of one. Any think card. Of a playing card. Yeah, think of a playing card. Focus try on it in your brain. Gotta try to throw you off. Into your brain. I'm gonna uh, get into your brain. Just think of it. Just got think. it. Just got think. it. You got one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Concentrate hard on that card. I'm gonna wow. Uh, Locked in. I'm gonna draw a picture of your card. Okay. Sharpie and everything. This yeah. Let me just, just look at you. Look, look at me in the eyes. Okay, good. Back forward. That's all it takes. Look at this. I, that was oh, this is. Easy. Listen, you can read you like a book. That's what all my exes said. Was your card the Ace of Spades? No, it was definitely not was the it? Ace of Spades. It was the Seven of Diamonds. This is seven embarrassing. A little bit. You just wasted this is a live. sheet. This is live, man. We got All right. well, no, no, the thousands of, spades, of people. The Ace of Spades is on the, it's a, it's on the front of the deck. Here, just watch the Ace of Spades. We can just kind of make the seven of diamonds. It's kind of Stop somewhere playing. inside Stop the playing. deck. Just no! <laughs> ah! Ow! Yo, that's that fire! That was so cool! That's for you. <gasps> I would never, I'm going to keep this way out. Look at it. Look at that. How do you do that? In his brain. In your brain. Oh, that's lit. Here, I'll do one more. And you know, it's exciting to be here because my show, Magic for Humans, premieres on Netflix at midnight tonight. Tonight, everybody, make sure tomorrow. you are watching Magic for Humans only on Netflix with my man Justin Wilson. Woo! Please do. And this is one, one of my favorites from season one because this is not sleight of ma uh, hand, this is sleight of mouth watching. That's mixed up. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right. You gotta look in the mirror to. Uh huh. I knew a girl used to do stuff like this with a cherry stem. There you go. Get out of here. Come on, right? I mean, come on. That's a do First of all, that's a door, but I'd never seen a little tiny Rubik's so cube, cube like that. So cute, right? Covered with saliva. Oh, man. I, what better way to start a show? I mean, seriously. I have no words, Justin Wilman. It's been a pleasure. That was insane! We got a few more seconds to You're do. You're the best to do I'm magic I'm shaking! Form. Wait, what? I have to gauge how legit... How, how, what's your reaction to this? Oh, well, my grandfather used to do that. Okay, good. Even, See, I had even... to make sure that I wasn't getting false positives. It was fought every time it disconnected the thumb. Let's get it. Countdown. Final 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 countdown.
And you're, you're performing in New York this week. Oh, that's right. I'm doing Caroline's on Broadway. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hell Come see a show. yeah, I'm in Come there like it. swimwear. Well, okay. Could you make a ticket appear? You can, yeah, I got you. All right, cool. I got you. This is good for admittance. I'm going to show this to the chick okay. at the box office. She's going to be like, yo, oh, nice I got try. You. I got you. That'll be $95. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. This is fun. We should but do this every day. I want you to be here all the time. I, just, I enjoy this. No lie. Immensely. This is crazy. The kid in me and the me in me is freaking out right now. The me and me. The me and me. The me inside myself. Oh, all right. Justin is going to help us kick it off with question number one. Let's do it! Oh, this is an honor. Okay, question number one. By definition, you can combine hydrogen and oxygen to make what? Super hydrogen, oxymorons, or water? Science! I know, it's some Bill Nye stuff here. Remember Bill Nye? I love the that The science guy. guy! Some Mr. Wizard stuff here. He curses now. What? Yeah. Oh, he does. He's also That's on That's very jarring. A little Seeing bit. Bill Nye cuss is very, very jarring. Cussing Bill is Nye. Is our time up? Did we do it? Did, yes. Did they lock it in? Ready? Uh, Ready? The answer is... Water. 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 If water. Some say water. Water if you're from like South Jersey. H2O. Water. Water. Good old dihydrogen monoxide. AKA it's, water. It's what you're made out of, mostly, hopefully. Unless you're not feeling good, a little de dehydrated. <laughs> dehydrated. But True. Yeah. Get some electrolytes, babies. 85,000 people. 20 got it of right. you. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, I didn't. I thought you were. No, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm uh, glad we rehearsed. Justin's this. gonna come back if there's a savage question. He's gonna and, magically appear. And there will be a savage question. Oh snap! How do I'll you know be, that? I'll be three feet to your left. How do you know that, psychic man? <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. All right. Here we go. And the, the Rubik's cube is still here. I was gonna pick it up, but I'm not gonna touch it. That was in his face. All right, question number two. What body of water is north of South America? Huh? Sea of Tranquility, Caribbean Sea, or Antarctic Ocean? Dude, that was, that was sick that you got my card like that. I was literally trying to throw you off with a card that I didn't think a magician would think of. I messed that up. I should have mm, went with another one. Seven of diamonds. Yep, we're doing, we'll do something else. <laughs> Check your globes, everybody. Caribbean Sea above most of South America. That's what's happening. Okay, Antarctic Ocean, that's below. Uh, sea of Tranquility is on the moon. Water in it. Come on! 72,000 and a bunch of you just did that. You want some extra lives? They keep you in the game, okay? You can use up to three of them in a game. Get some right now by tapping on that little pop-up right around here. Magic. <laughs> You can use up to, yeah, use them up to question 10. I'm sorry, I'm flustered. That's the last question you can use them on. It's question 10. Sorry, 14. Magic. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, question number three. Which celebrity hails from a Caribbean country? Dwayne Johnson, Keanu Reeves, or Rihanna? Caribbean, Caribbean. What's it gonna be? Family on my great-grandfather's side is from uh, Barbados. Here we go! Immigrants, they get the job done, okay? Keanu Reeves was born in Lebanon, and Rihanna is from the Caribbean country of Barbados. We might be related, which is really putting a damper on some of the Rihanna dreams I've had. 73,159 of y'all got that right. Ella, 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 eh, eh, eh. If you want to level up faster, make sure you pick up a point multiplier, okay? You can tap one of the options on your screen. You can multiply your points by 5, 10, even 15, okay? Points get you to new levels, and levels keep you in the game. Magic. I don't want to do this all the time. Question number four. Which Rihanna album included a feature by Drake? Was it Rated R, Good Girl Gone Bad, or Anti? Hmm? Lock in those answers. All right, we all know there's a story there with Drake and Rihanna, okay? And he featured on the lead single of her latest mm. album, Anti. Where's the next album, Rihanna? Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. The savage, babies! Come on, Justin! Gosh, that was, it that was, was pretty savage. savage. 51,000 got it wrong. Well, 61,000. Oh, man. Got it wrong. A lot of people got it wrong. Okay, listen. So it's a little pick-me-up. To cheer you up, 
uh, you're gonna live vicariously through Matt and receive a little gift from me to you. Woo! Matt, yeah. you will be the, the embodiment of the players who like just that. got savaged. So this is my, my, my cue for you, this little bonus magic cue. I have six prizes here, Matt. Whichever number Matt picks, I will give you that prize right now. Ooh, can we do a poll? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> or six. What do you want? One, Tell two, me in three, the chat four, five, what you guys want me to pick. Quick, give me something in the chat. They're all great prizes, you should know. Everybody, most people say six. We're gonna go with six. Six? Yeah, because your hand's down there. I don't oh, trust oh, it. Oh, do you want to change your mind? Do you want, do I want to change my mind? Four! Ha <laughs> ha! Final answer? Yes, maybe. Is it, audience? Yes, it is. Four? All right, let's see. This is very exciting. Now, don't be jealous. Oh, this is good. Matt gets himself a hug. Okay, what's the other prize? Come here. It's a hug. Oh. Come here. All right. Yeah. Like a nice long one. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, man. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Hope that That was cool. Good. What? Oh! Okay. Um. <laughs> what? Woo! That was scary. Do you want to change your mind? Nope. Nope. Absolutely 100,000% no. Okay. Yep. I have five prizes left if you want to put I'm good, here. player. I'm just going to go back to three feet to your left. Okay, yeah, thank you. Whoa. Y'all have, <laughs> I'm so glad y'all told me the chaser. <laughs> How would we explain this a family show if I picked the wrong one? We'd have to go, that's for after dark. Okay, that was crazy. I'm glad it was a hug. Yeah. Question number five. <laughs> The anti-administration party was formed to oppose which treasury secretary? Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, or Alexander Hamilton? That was a mouthful. I'm glad it wasn't a mouthful or a buttful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. That was crazy. <laughs> Uh, led by Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, the anti-administration party was fueled by frustration at Alexander Hamilton. What's your name, man? My name is Alexander Hamilton. Just you wait. Just you wait. 38,000 of y'all killed it. I've never seen Hamilton. I've only listened to the soundtrack while I walk my dogs. Question number six. Alexander Skarsgård made his American film debut in what movie? Meet the Parents, Zoolander, or Along Came Polly? Lock it in! And then all of you get a hug from me. All right. You know what could really help you answer to this tough question right here? Orange mocha frappuccinos. Y'all remember that, huh? Before True Blood and Big Little Lies, Alexander Skarsgård was just a simple male model that passed away in a tragic gasoline fight accident. 28,338 of you got it right. Oh boy. Question number seven, y'all, let's go to work. Which zoo's opening was delayed by the Civil War? Central Park Zoo, Smithsonian National Zoo, or Philadelphia Zoo? What's it gonna be? This, I'm putting this on my wall. That was pretty dope. Not gonna lie, that was pretty. <laughs> Pretty cool. Huh? This is it's a real sheet of paper. All right. I'm sorry. Here we go. America's first true zoo. The Philadelphia Zoo was chartered by Pennsylvania in 1859, but they had to wait like 15 years till the Civil War took it easy. 17,900, one of you got it right. Oh boy. Question number eight, let's go to work. What ingredient is traditionally found in a Philadelphia roll? Cucumber, inari, or tuna? On my sushi heads. You gotta get this one right. It's also my least favorite roll. Philly rolls, you either love them or you hate them, but in the 1980s, people went crazy for those little pieces of sushi that emulated the bagel toppings. You had your smoked salmon, your cream cheese, a little bit of cucumber on there. 14,084, got it right. Yeah, you guys are doing it. You came to play, I came to pay, so let's get some money to you. Question number nine. Cool as a cucumber is an example of what figure of speech? Simile, metaphor, or hyperbole? I have flashbacks of when I had to learn this in like the seventh grade, and I was like, oh crap, I'm confused. Okay, you're crazy like a fox, if you don't know. Cool as a cucumber is a simile. Are cucumbers cool? 
You call me when they're wearing leather jackets, little teeny leather jackets on a cucumber. That's pretty cool. 9,570 of y'all killed it. Oh, boy. Question number 10. Let's go. The fictional language Simlish premiered in which game? Simcopter, SimCity, or The Sims? Simlish. If you played The Sims, you remember the gibberish language that they spoke in Sul Sul. Ubiga! It got popular with uh, mega hit The Sims, but it actually premiered in 1998's Simcopter. Whip nut chob dog. Did I say that right? Sim heads. Oh my God! That's another savage question. Savage question song. Justin, you wanna come back? Well, listen. Uh, <laughs> after my last savage question performance, I was told, uh, just you know, don't do it again. So I'm okay. just gonna give you just a hug and you know, yeah, you I'll take no that. Choice. That's you cool. No choice. That's, I appreciate that. But I'll be in your dress. I ain't nope, I ain't like your other choices, man. All right. Okay, keep that cane away from me, too. I don't know what you're going to do with that cane, make it pop up. I had to fight you. All right, question number 11. Oh, I would never fight him. I love him. Okay, question 11. What colloquial term refers to the pin attaching a rotor to a helicopter? Jesus nut, angel's pin, or heaven clip? That's a lot of words right there. Ooh, what collo colloquial term <laughs> refers to the pin attaching a rotor to a helicopter? Okay, during the Vietnam War, American soldiers started calling the main rotor retaining nut the Jesus nut because if it became detached, and you know, the whole, all you could do was pray. Yeah. Oh, that's savage, a little bit. Savage question. Sorry you got it wrong. Yeah. Question number 12. Only four more questions remain until the jackpot. Here we go. The Egyptian sky goddess Newt was sometimes depicted in what form? Serpent, cow, or eagle? Remember when I told y'all y'all had to remember all the Egyptian gods? Bet you're thinking me right about now. Okay, when you look up at the sky, what do you see? If you said cow, you're not alone. Ancient Egyptians sometimes depicted Newt as a giant cow, protectively hovering over them. Can we see that picture one more time? Look at that. Just, they had a lot of free time on their hands. Clearly. 3,419 of you got it right. Congratulations. It's question 13. Let's get it. Who voices the Simpsons character known for saying, don't have a cow, man? Nancy Cartwright, Julie Kavner, or Yerdley Smith? Throughout the Simpsons run, Bart had a bunch of catchphrases. With one thing in common, they were all spoken by Nancy Cartwright. His voice actor, 4,180, y'all got that right. You had to know that one. Come on now. Question 14, this is your last chance to use an extra life. So if you've been sitting on it, waiting, this is your last chance. I was trying to say that more cleverfully, cleverly, cleverful. Question 14. Nancy Sinatra sang the title song of a James Bond movie with a screenplay by who? Ian Fleming, Christopher Wood, or Roald Dahl? Lock it in. All right, when he wasn't writing children's books, Roald Dahl was clacking away at screenplays like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and You Only Live Twice, which was sung by Miss Sinatra. Hi, chitty, ho, chitty, everywhere we go. Chitty, 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 bang, bang, we depend. Bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. A fine for offended friend. Could you tell I went to theater school? I failed a lot. 2,741 of y'all didn't fail. You made it to the final question of the evening. Pat yourself on the back, give yourself a hug, and always pick number four. Whoo! Always pick number four. Unless you, you know, that's, that's up to y'all. Question number 15. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Rolled ice cream is sometimes called what? Booza, stir fried ice cream, or hokey pokey? Hmm? Booza, stir fried ice cream, or hokey pokey? If you're in the mood for a tasty treat, try the Thai dessert rolled ice cream. 
also called stir-fried ice cream. And the biggest treat of all, you just won HQ Trivia. Congratulations, 2,297 players. Oh, yeah! You did it! Woo! Let me hear you make some noise! I can't! Cause I'm in your phone! <laughs> okay, congratulations to 2,297 of you. Sir Fleo, Fleo, whatever. Uh, Cessna 17. Alinan, congratulations. Cole 8128. Uh, Rick Me. Creamy fruit, <laughs> creamy fruit, uh, uh, creamy fruits. I, I just, it's just, it's an ellipsis. Uh, Alas, 1947, Narwhal. I respect Narwhals because they stop terrorism with their tusks. Topical. Okie dokie. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Big thanks to Justin Wilman for stopping by the show. Please, please, please do yourself a favor. Make sure you check it out on Netflix, Magic for Humans. Airing tonight. There's a new season at midnight Eastern time, yeah? yeah? All right, so you'll be able to watch it all week till the weekend, tell your friends, tell their friends, and then tell everybody, till everybody knows. Yeah. Hey! How you do that thing with the Rubik's Cube, man?